I posted this short a few days ago showing what happens when you leave a hose connected to a hose bib for too long. It's called electrolysis. I'm taking you back to your high school chemistry class here. I already explained what electrolysis means in the short, but I'll do it again in this video. For this particular reason is when two different metals are connected together for too long, causing corrosion and practically welding themselves together, which leads me to the point of this video. In that short that I posted, I had a little fun Easter egg at the end of it showing me trying to remove that hose from the existing hose bib. I only showed about 10 seconds of the actual footage, but in this video I wanted to show the raw footage of me doing it because in my opinion, it's funny. A quick backstory and then I'll get right to the video. It was about 10 or 11 o'clock at night. I was super tired and I just decided, hey, let me try and get this thing off right before bed. And if you're anything like me, when you work, when you're tired, you're pretty stupid and you just can't figure it out. So enjoy the next minute of me struggling, trying to get this thing off. Stay till the end to see if I'm able to get it removed or not. At this point in time, I already tried using channel locks, adjustable wrenches, everything, you, you name it, and it wasn't budget. So my last resort was my two 18 inch pipe wrenches. With this little weird angled hose bib, it was very difficult to fit both those pipe wrenches on it to try and get good leverage. Can't tell you how excited I am to see all the comments ripping me apart on how I'm trying to get this apart. I understand this may not be the way you would have done it, but this is the way I did it at 11 o'clock at night, already extremely tired. So just bear with me. Since I took this video, I recently learned that putting a flame to the hose bib itself where it's screwed on can actually help loosen it so it's a lot easier to remove. I wish I knew that before I started to attempt doing it in this video. I ran into this problem quite a few times. Only once I was able to remove one and not have to replace the hose bit. I'm gonna cut the voiceover short a little bit early today, but before I do, I wanna let you know that I have memberships now available. And my main point of action with my membership program is that anyone who joins my membership will be automatically entered in monthly tool giveaways after we hit 10 members. Right now we're sitting at three out of 10 members so right now would be the time to join if you're interested in getting free tools. There'll be a link to join in the top of the description for this video. I'm sorry for that grunt that happened a little bit ago. Hopefully you didn't have max volume in a public area. Thanks for watching. Let me know how I did down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.